Hi everyone, hope you all are doing really well. This video is on healthcare project. Again, there are a couple of series of there. Again, two, three videos are still remain for the healthcare project, um, which is for the based on different, ex you watch all the video and you see uh, which can uh, suit for your experience. So there are a couple of healthcare videos now. So this basically is CRM solutions, which is customer relationship management solutions um, in the healthcare or in the medical domain. So we discuss more about that project. So there will be some of the use cases which I think they are in the comment uh, one person has want me to how you gonna automate it. So I'm gonna discuss about some of the scenarios to understand it. Um, how you can uh, build the scenarios and how you can automate uh, your application. So in terms of some use cases I can share it with you uh, while explaining the project. And try visualizing the uh, project when I'll explain it. So I think that will really help you out. So in this video, mostly uh, we cover about the project architectural layer. It's not about the deep diving on your testing front. It is mostly if somebody asks you the question that uh, can, uh, can you tell me something about your project, what project you have worked on and the architectural layer of your project. So instead of sharing entire details, you can have some details here that what exactly uh, uh, your use case for uh, uh, the project you're working on. So what is the requirement? And for what, uh, basically what uh, is the need and what your project does it uh, in real time. So for example, if I say ATM machine, so what ATM ma machine is do it, we can withdraw the cash, we can, uh, uh, you know, put, um, uh, you can see your amount, uh, account balance, you can have your statements, you can transfer the money, you can change the pin of your ATM card. So that that is how that, you know, upper layer of the project, you can tell, tell to anybody. So what ex how they are doing it, what, what are the modules are there, modules are there, how the functionality and the features are there, that you don't have to disclose it. But it, at least the architectural layer, in terms of architectural layer, I'm not saying in terms of system design, in terms of, uh, you know, the user's perspective, that what your ex application does it in real time. So that's about it. And the use cases which I'm going to share, you can say that uh, the question will be what all automation test cases, what are the critical automation test cases you have worked on. So you can derive some of the test cases from that project and tell them that these are the test cases for these validations have done it and automated those test cases. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel. So and, and click on the notification button below. Don't forget to click on the button below. So that whenever I'll upload the video, you'll get notified. Since I, we don't have any day or anything, since I'll, I'll get the information, I'll make a video and I'll upload it. So that's how it will be. So it's never be a like fixed date or anything. So whenever I'll upload it, you'll get notified and then you can see the video. So let's go ahead with the video. Yeah. So now we have a project overview, which is uh, our client of this project had a vision to build a CRM solutions that is healthcare, uh, that is healthcare industry specific. This project requires to build a customer healthcare solutions with the specific features catering to patient engagement, satisfaction, experience, retainment, and personal personalization of services. This is the project overview that what exactly related to the customer it will be. And then uh, here are the key features of uh, the project that what all features are there, like what are the important features, what how are application working. So what exactly your application is doing? Easy and hazel free appointment scheduling. Built-in communication channel for initiating and tracking any interaction with patients through call, email, text messages, and real-time chat, etc. Comprehensive patient information recording system that can be used for adding or updating patient information. Automatic segregations of the patients into group based on certain factors such as diagnostic, specific health issues, and pregnant women, and so on. This helps to communicate with them effectively. So, uh, okay, we'll spend some time here to understand. So, easy and hassle-free appointment scheduling. So, you can see there are third-party apps which are working on. Um, my another video is also on a detailed description of appointment scheduling. So, I'll just give you a, uh, a video. I'll just give you a review of, uh, preview of it. That how you're going to book from any of the app. So, you will see the doctor's details. You will see the payments. That how much he'll charge for uh, this much amount or for this much hour of the consultation. And then you book it, okay? And you book, you pay the fees and you will get the time slot for your, like how you have selected the time slots and the available of date, uh, availability of dates. And then you will, for the bad particular timing, you have paid for some amount of the money and it is like from third party phone pay, GPay, you have done it. And then your, it's very easy to book an appointment through any of the, like for example, there is an app, doctor app. So in doctor app, you go, you put for like, uh, 
you have something orthopedic you got a orthopedic doctor you want uh, you have some muscle strain or anything you just see the orthopedic doctor and then you uh, get to see okay a b c doctor is there with this much of experience is like 10 years 15 years 20 years and the fees is like 500000 and 1500 okay based on their experiences so you wanted to have you have minor injury you can go with a doctor as well for 500 you have paid 500 and then uh, you see the available dates you select the available days a uh, date and the timings of your choice uh, and the availability of the doctor you pay the 500 rupees through phone pay and then you will see uh, the message that your appointment is booked please be on time and the same that in the doctor uh, that this patient has booked the appointment okay then this is first easy and hassle free appointment scheduling so this is very easy this has been done uh, i'm telling you how application works first then we'll drive the use cases we have a short slides project but the definitions of those entire points have, are bigger. So you have to listen to video. You cannot sp skip it and play it. So I think whatever I'm explaining, it's very real time. So if you are very new to this one, I think you really have to hear me out what I'm saying. It. I'll try to paste down and I'll try explaining everything. So then built-in communication channel for initiating and tracking any interaction with patients through calls, email, text messages, real-time chats, etc. So also if you have any... Uh, problem in doing this thing and uh, uh, doing this uh, for example booking or scheduling an appointment so you have a real-time chat either you can use a whatsapp and there is a bot in every app you can book an appointment and it will be very easy now you just based on the keywords it will work okay then again the emails and the text messages if you have something which is uh, you wanted to email something that this is what your problem is a little bit and you wanted to email a doctor prior um, maybe some of the reports or some of the things you wanted to give it to the doctors you can also send an email uh, to the mail id which is again the mail id for this appointment you can put the complete details for this appointment you will be sharing some of the details okay so prior to your appointment doctor will have those details okay comprehensive patient information patient information recording system so um, whatever record like um, even if you registered okay you register any any of the applications so you will have your recordings like your weight and uh, maybe um, your bp and everything will be uh, into your um, maybe when you are visiting the hospital they'll take all that once you booked it when you go to the hospital they'll they'll check your bp they'll check your height they'll check your weight and um, they'll put it into the system so they will be having the patient information recording system so that will then into the record and uh, as then when they got the information they will update the information for example if you went to some test uh, test and uh, let's say for some of the blood tests you've been in so your hemoglobin level level or the cholesterol level everything will be updated into the patient information okay and the same when this has been updated and the use case will be if you are searching for uh, like let's say you have abc patient so how will be uh, how you will test it so in your um, comprehensive patient information system recording system so when you go and write down abc abc is a patient name for example so uh, for example i'll i'll take it my name like i i write my name kajal so uh, my uh, for, uh, for my testing uh, if I'll write the patient name AB uh, Kajal, so I'll have entire information should be reflected on the page. Okay, and all the fields which I had filled in, it should reflect in that page. Okay, so it will also store in our DB, so you can check the same information. The DB should also be there. Okay, and from DB it is fetching into the next screen, and I can see all those details, even the updated information. I can see it. Okay. So then we have automate and then there's an automatic segregation. So okay, for example, we have some uh, A, B, C patients. A has uh, some orthopedic diseases. B has some chronic lifestyle diseases. And C are the pregnant women we have it. And D are the some male women which has uh, male women are some skin patients. Okay. So based on the groups, they'll be uh, segregating. So if you are writing the disease, there will be a field called disease. So in the disease field, if you fill like uh, a for if for some patient, you have filled uh, disease called chronic lifestyle disease. So this patient is aligned with the B group, which is chronic lifestyle group. 
there will be and like for example uh, a pregnant lady so um, a pregnant lady is there and then in the in the issue or whatever not in the disease or in the um, category maybe Pron, uh, maybe the category okay the category will be like for example b before also category will be chronic lifestyle and then the category will be pregnant women so based on the category they will be having certain group so if so uh, uh, for example if i'll put uh, 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 some a or maybe let's say some name like test name test will be the name and in the category if i'll put uh, 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 chronic lifestyle disease so when i go to the core chronic lifestyle disease this test should be reflected there so these kind of test cases and the use cases will be there in your testing now uh, functionality for assigning and updating tasks to medical staff and tracking tasks status so there are functionality uh, like for example there are uh, some of the uh, medical staff are there like for example we have a five medical staff a b c d e like okay so the one is assigned for uh, checking uh, bp and um, uh, weight and uh, maybe checking weight height and everything for the uh, for every patient so this has been assigned to the a staff member b is for the registration so b is assigned uh, like he will do the registrations of the people so maybe from uh, timings let's say uh, from 10 to 2 o'clock uh, b will do and from 2 o'clock c will do or like that because we have a night shift also to come p patient will be coming right so there are three or four patient uh, three or four people are assigned for the registration purpose only and then tracking side people uh, they, there were some of the staffs which will go for the round there were a couple of uh, admitted patients so they will take their status as well so for these people and they were tracking results like for example a b c d has worked on on the day shift and then e f g h worked on the night shift or maybe the afternoon shift so based on that there will be a couple of people who worked around the clock okay so user friendly reporting system that generates a customer reports regarding various statistics such as patient response patient's drop off rate of patient's fall off total schedule appointment so you will also have that you know reports in terms of hospitals so in in that you can have the statistics okay so how many patients response how many if five patients has been response you will see the reports so uh, on that uh, report you can see so you can have the monthly or weekly reports so in the weekly reports if you select for 7 days for example in a, in your portal if you select for 7 days you can see the graph like how many patients has been you will the graph should reflect with these many details so if five patients has been follow ups rate of follow up five patients has been drop or five patients has been uh, uh like for example there are 20 or 50 appointments scheduled in a week so based on 50 how many you can see it in the graph so in a week you can select the uh, um, what it will be um, 7 days in the 7 days you will have the like total of 50 and you will have the xy graph okay facilities for market strategies such as direct mail campaigns which allows medical staff to send emails to patients as well as prospects so there will be a campaigns also wherein you can send it into the mail also that this is this is the offer is coming for example you will see there are lot of instagram videos those are not nothing but a campaign that advertising right so uh, that is also facilities there that, that is also the facilities in this uh, customer relation management people does it that they will facilitate these kind of things which is customer related right uh, they will see some of the offers is going on and basically in medical you don't have any offers Uh, if you are ill you are ill you have to get treated so uh, let's say for the skin specialist when you have now there are a lot of facials uh, <laughs> right i i i can i can i can tell you that this is how it is so you can give you the example give them the example there are in the dermat uh, hospital if you go there are a lot of of uh, offers are there because the sessions are very costly it goes up to like four five sessions is on lakhs so uh, and there will be a lot of drops the reason why there is a offer there are a lot of drops so patient will to take two three sessions instead of four five sessions to have the entire result so in two three results i think people are good with their skins and they are happy with their major issues has been resolved so i think they are happy they don't take four five sessions so it will be the loss for the hospitals right or the dermat so what they do is they'll give some offers so okay so if you're not paying 1 lakh at least pay 75000 so that's how it is 
so we employed uh, machine learning algorithms for for creating the predictive health and behavioral analytics modules which studies tracks and analyze customer data for forecasting like healthcare needs uh, okay there will be machine learning algorithm also for creating the predictive health and behavioral analytics so in that this is very customer relations is basically for the management the software is basically for the managements and uh, there was something which they are providing so uh, they there will be some of the algorithm which is like predictive health and the behavioral analytics has been like in this how many um, there will be a chances for the viral fever if there is a lot of cold right so there are a lot of viral fever that everyone knows around it so i remember when when i was in october everyone everyone has viral fever everyone including me i had it so even if i went to the hospital doctor does have like it may i have around 50 patients having the same problem like cold cough and fever including me so uh, it will be like they can do the predictive analysis okay in this weather like there is a change in weather okay so what happens is it happens i have read a lot in i have done the research also this is giving you the example to uh, giving you the background so what happens is when there is a change in weather right so from uh, what from uh, this one right from when uh, from rainy to winter so it's not like completely winter so there is a slowly changes okay so when it is raining so even the nature is trying to balance out something okay balance out everything around it so there's an autumn uh, month so when everything is it's a balanced month maybe so it's a balanced month so after that no so even the your atmosphere is also little bit starting changing so that by your your health will get affected so mother nature is also doing balancing thing try balancing everything and she is also changing the environment so it's a change which is not adaptable to everyone so that affects everyone's most of the people's health okay uh so i think that now the what is a project's perspective so what exactly we have done it while um okay there's one more Uh, easy integration with the existing software system of a healthcare organization. So this solutions can be easily integrated. So this is the one module, okay? That's why when we say account module, it's a CRM module wherein you can integrate with any of the healthcare organization. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of features. You can see the graphs. You can see many things. You can. This is the, this is not a complete project. It can be integrated with any of the healthcare project, okay? Functional or automatically providing current patients and prospect useful information regarding various health related information. So there are automatically providing this this is basically i think most of the project is or in the upcoming video i think the next video will be coming tomorrow uh, i'll give you it will coming be tomorrow it will come tomorrow and then you will be having a, a, a prospect of uh, all the useful information of the patient so how you going to get it you can see it in that video also so in this one what we have done it initially like as a, you have worked on this project basically if you are referring this one so what we did for the there's a discovery phase so every project has a discovery phase wherein you discover what module can suit for you and what all features can be introduced into this project then there is a mvp developed so there is a small module can be developed which can be called as an mvp then there is a full fledged software development for web and android iphone so this is like app application right so it it can be web there is a web, website also but there is a mostly app for android and iphone and then you will be doing a mobile testing and your web web testing and then you have a support and maintenance cost so thank you i think this is very short video and if you really want i think if i have 5 or 10 people we will have more discussion i can have a webex call and wherein we can have more discussion around these projects wherein we can understand the deep diving of it how it is exactly will give you real time examples and we can have some webex sections around it if you are interested comment down yes or something you want to get into those features so we'll discuss all the healthcare projects and explain you for the more better that what exactly how healthcare industry you work and yeah i think these projects are really helpful so stay tuned for my next video the next video is coming tomorrow uh yeah bye bye guys all the best